Let's take a look at angles in triangles. Now angles are created when two lines are joined together. Here's one line and another line and in between them an angle has been created. Here's one line, here's another line, an angle in between has been created. Here's one line, here's a second line, in between them an angle has created. Now when the angle is very small it is called an acute angle. So one way to remember an acute angle is it is a small angle. Now um, the next angle we've got here, this square angle here, if, if we've got that square there, then that is called a right angle. And a right angle is 90 degrees. So whenever you see this symbol here, that tells us it's a right angle. In other words, it has a value of 90. And this here is a large angle, and we can call this an obtuse angle. So an obtuse angle is a large angle. A better definition for an acute angle we can see here that this right angle is 90 degrees. If it is less than 90 degrees, this angle here is, as you can see, is less than 90 degrees. So um, another way of seeing an acute angle is an angle which has a value of less than 90 degrees. A right angle is 90 degrees and, a, and an obtuse angle is an angle which is greater than 90 degrees. Now, um, with squares and rectangles, very simple angle properties. A square has four right angles. A rectangle also has four right angles. And since a right angle is 90 degrees, 90 times by four is 360 degrees. So the sum of the angles in uh, a four-sided shape, whether it's a square or a rectangle, is 360 degrees. But a key property of a square is four right angles. All the angles are the same and they are all right angles and that's the same for a rectangle as well. And for a circle, a circle has no angles whatsoever.